ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Good morning, everyone. I am Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. Today we are canvassing the official results for Arizona's 2022 general election held on November 8th, 2022. Also from Secretary of State's office, we have uh, Election Director Corey Lorick uh, and also Governor Ducey, Attorney General Brnovich and Chief Justice Brutnell. Thank you so much for being here today. Preparing for an election is an immense undertaking and while this one was not without challenges, we saw extremely high participation for a midterm election. There were nearly 2.6 million ballots cast in this election, making turnout over 62% across the state. Of the total ballots cast, more than 80% of them were cast early, which underscores the importance of Arizona's ballot by mail and early voting system to ensure voter participation. I wanna take this time to thank the voters of Arizona you turned out for our democracy and ensured your voices were heard. This process doesn't work without you. I also want to thank the thousands of Arizonans who played a part in conducting this election. Arizona's elections wouldn't happen without the friends, neighbors, and coworkers who serve as poll workers and election workers. We're grateful for your service and encourage all Arizonans to find ways to learn about and become involved with our elections. As we've learned these past few years, protecting our democracy requires everyone's participation to help discern truth from fiction and listen to experts seeking to uphold our laws and republic rather than promote conspiracies. False claims that undermine our democracy remain prevalent. We need to look no further than the effort by some elected officials last week to prevent this canvas from happening by refusing to uphold Arizona's election laws. You can help combat uh, these threats by getting involved. Learn from your trusted election officials and share accurate information with your family and friends. Push back on and refuse to accept false narratives. Arizona had a successful election, but too often throughout the process, powerful voices proliferated misinformation that threatened to disenfranchise voters. Democracy prevailed, but it's not out of the woods. 2024 will bring a host of challenges from the election denial community that we must prepare for. But for now, Arizonans <clears throat> can stand proud knowing that this election was conducted with transparency, accuracy, and fairness in accordance with Arizona's election laws and procedures. As a reminder, I'd just like to highlight a few of those measures that are in place to ensure fairness and security of election systems in Arizona. Election equipment that is purchased for use in state or federal elections must be first certified by the U.S. Ele Elections Assistance Commission before it is reviewed and recommended for certification by our Election Equipment Certification Advisory Committee. 
a process which is publicly noticed and held pursuant to open meeting laws. This election, conspiracies about the accreditation of election equipment cause some doubt as to whether the election should be certified. These claims are unequivocally false. Arizonans can have confidence in the election equipment and certification process. All voting equipment used in federal and state elections undergoes logic and accuracy tests by each county before each election, followed by a logic and accuracy testing of randomly selected equipment by our office in each county. And all LNA and equipment certification meetings are open to the public, and your election officials welcome you to attend in the future if you want to learn more. Additionally, <clears throat> the 2019 Elections Procedures Manual requires an additional <coughs> post-election logic and accuracy test to be conducted by the counties. All of these logic and accuracy tests are publicly announced and include representatives of each political party. Counties conduct a post-election hand count audit of randomly selected precincts immediately following the election with participation of each political party. A mix of members of each political party is required to be working at every polling place in the state. Additionally, a credentialed poll observer of each political party is allowed in every polling place. Members of each political party are required to be involved in all tabulation functions. Additionally, a credentialed observer of each political party is allowed in every tabulation room. There are also ca cameras in every tabulation center with live streams that can be accessed via the internet. All voting equipment was thoroughly tested in the certification process during the pre- and post-election -elec logic and accuracy tests. This is true for all 15 counties in Arizona. Every county's hand count audit demonstrated that the election equipment accurately counted ballots. Typically, the state canvas marks the, an official end to the election. However, a law that went to, into effect this year that changed uh, the margin for a recount uh, to occur. This means that we have three contests that will trigger the automatic recount provision, attorney general, superintendent of public instruction, and the state representative in district 13. <clears throat> so immediately following this canvas, my office will go to court to request a recount order. That's because under Arizona law, only a judge can order a recount at the request of the officer in charge of elections, which for these contests is the secretary of state's office. All of this is to say that the work of election officials continues. The counties will be conducting recounts well into December, working through the holiday season to ensure that we meet our statutory duties. With that, I'll turn it over to Governor Ducey. Thank you, Secretary Hobbs, and good morning, everyone. I want to begin by thanking the poll workers and volunteers for helping Arizonans vote in our general election. So many Arizonans, including 680 state employees, help staff polling places on election day. I'm grateful for their dedication to democracy. Now let's have a quick refresher on why we're here. Pursuant to state law, on the fourth Monday following the general election, the current Secretary of State, in the presence of the Governor and the Attorney General, must canvass the election. That's the law. And during my first inauguration in 2015, and then again in 2019, I swore an oath to uphold the law. This is a responsibility I do not take lightly. It's one that recognizes the votes cast by the citizens of our great state. Voting is a fundamental principle of our nation's democracy. It's an important right and an effective method in ensuring Americans' voices are heard. This election, Arizonans mailed in their ballot, dropped it off at secure locations, and voted in person in every corner of our state. We waited patiently for the democratic process to play out. Now, the votes have been tabulated in all 15 counties have certified the results. In Arizona, we've built a strong foundation and our future is bright. Our economy is booming, there's no better place in the nation to build a successful life, and we have opportunity for all. Let us remember this as we certify the election and begin this next chapter. 
And now I will turn it back to Secretary Hobbs. Thank you so much, Governor DC. With that, I will sign the Canvas document, which contains Arizona's official election results for the 2022 general election, based on the canvases from each of the 15 counties. And after I sign, I'll pass them to the Governor, Attorney General, and uh, Chief Justice for their affirming signatures. Wait, I'm supposed to keep them in order, so I'll do all the ones. And I should note, I didn't know we were giving speeches today, but um, the governor and I, for some statute service, we're going to be witnesses to the certification. Uh, we do not actually certify the election. And I'm reminded of what John F. Kennedy often said, that uh, those who ride the tiger to seek power often end up inside. These will be available on eBay later today. So that was a joke. <laughs> Someone's recording this? <laughs> This is the test of if you pass kindergarten.
These signed and sealed documents now constitute the official canvas and results of the November 8, uh, 2022 general election. Based on the official cam canvas, my office the, and the governor's office have also prepared uh, the certificate of election for U.S. Senator and the proclamation of the governor, the proclamation by the governor declaring the ballot measures approved by the voters. And so now we will sign those. All right, everyone, thank you so much. This concludes the official canvas of the November 8th, 2022 general election. And I just want to once again thank the voters of Arizona. Because of your participation, our democratic institutions thrived. Uh, stay engaged and keep voting. Thank you all very much for joining us.